Hey Geminis, this is your singles reading. Um, I'm not putting any timestamps on these. It's just whenever you see it, you're meant to see it. <laughs> also, this may not resonate with everyone. Okay, so if this does resonate, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe so you can get more readings from me. Hit that like button, share, comment, you know, let me know if it resonates with you. And we'll get started. I've already did a meditation. Um, I always like to show gratitude and um, thank our spirit guides before I get started. So this is going to be for our Gemini singles. Okay. Spirit. Oh, already. We already on it. Okay. So we got the eight of wands, the five of swords, and the moon. Mm. All righty then. What's going on, Gemini's? Gemini single ladies, what is going on? Ooh, is there some tension? Some of y'all got some tension. Is it somebody that y'all used to talk to? Or um, somebody that you guys dated an ex? Hmm. We got the moon here, too. Spirit, clarify this moon card. star hmm okay so someone has some hope here I don't know why I'm getting X vibes I'm getting either someone that you used to talk to or someone that you dated briefly because you have the eight of wands here someone wants to come back in and they want to come back in quickly. <laughs> the Eight of Wands is fast movement. So somebody is trying to come in, come back in, and they're trying to come in quickly. Now, I would think this is new energy, but the only thing that's making me think it's not new energy is this Five of Swords here. So I'm wondering, is it someone that you guys kind of, sort of dated? This is what I'm feeling. Is it someone that you guys kind of sort of dated? You know, you didn't necessarily make it official, right? And you kind of fell off, maybe like in a bad way with this five of swords. Y'all probably argued. Um, you probably felt betrayed. Um, excuse the train. Y'all live near a train. Let's wait. <laughs> Okay, so with this five of swords here, you guys argued about something and now you guys, you know, felt some type of way. You felt some type of way and they felt some type of way. I'm feeling like this argument could have been because someone wasn't expressing how they were feeling with this moon here. All right, but with the star clarifying the moon, I'm wondering if someone wants to come back in and start over with you. Could be an Aquarius. You guys are dealing with an Aquarius. Someone wants to start again. Someone has optimism about optimism about um, you guys' relationship, even though you guys had this argument here. Hmm. Let's see. Clarify this five of swords. Spirit, thank you in advance. Spirit, clarify this five of swords. Okay. Spirit ain't playing today. The Ten of Pentacles. And I just took the top card. A few of them flipped over. but And we got the Six of Pentacles on the bottom. Ooh, baby. Baby, 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 baby. All right. So, somebody wants to start over. Somebody wants to come in. They want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to, an equal give and take. That's the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. Mmm. Okay, Ten of Pentacles is wealth, happiness, family. Somebody wants a family with you. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Could be a fire sign with this Eight of Wands here. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I think the message here is pretty cut and dry. Like, Spirit wasn't playing today. Spirit, give me one more about Gemini singles. 
Thank you for advance. Thank you. Thank you for advance. Thank you in advance. And when I say thank you for advance, if the four of pentacles flips over and the four of swords <laughs> flips over. Boy. <laughs> All right. So, mm. yeah, that's this is what I'm feeling. So with the four of pentacles here, you might be holding on to whatever this argument was or the other person is. You might be holding on to whatever this argument was, right? But with this four of swords here, I'm feeling like um, the other person has kind of had some time to think. You you guys have had some time apart, and you've had some time to kind of think things through. So as, as a Gemini, I'm a Gemini too, you guys. So, hmm. This is kind of sort of a singles reading. <laughs> it's definitely a singles reading, but it's about someone that wants to come back in. Because if you're like me, you you kind of wanted some new energy. Like I kind of wanted some new, new, you know. But this is kind of like saying that someone wants to come back in. They have some time to think with this Four of Swords energy. It could be an air sign. And with this Four of Pentacles here, you might be holding on to um, what happened. But I feel like you should let it go. I feel like whatever issues it was that you guys had, you, sh you need to let that go. Because um, you got the Ten of Pentacles here. You got the Star here. Hmm. Yeah. This, whatever this argument was, it's, it, it caused um, a lot of grief between you, between you guys. A lot of unnecessary grief. I think it was based on some type of understanding. I honestly think with this moon card here, it was based on someone not expressing themselves. Someone having more feelings for you than they were uh, saying. Than they were actually speaking up about. But with this eight of wands, they definitely want to come back in. They want to come back in. They want to, they want to tell you how they feel. And they have... A lot of optimism for y'all's connection. So, yeah, let me pull a couple of this was this was so cut and dry. I love it so much. Let me pull um, a card from the Love Oracle. So, bear with me, guys, because sometimes I get downloads and sometimes I need to speak on it. But I think I have already covered everything from the reading. Like Spirit was not playing today. She was like, no, we're going to be in and out today, Gemini. We ain't playing with you today. All right. Now, let's get something for Gemini Singles Spirit. 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 There we go. Woo! This is a lot. Okay, so I'm not keeping all of these. But you know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. And it says, work on your partnership. Mm-hmm. That comes with this uh, Ten of Pentacles here. That's what I'm thinking. It's getting to know each other. So maybe you guys didn't get to know each other well before when you guys talked before. Like I said, I feel like this is something that somebody that you dated briefly, very, very briefly. Or, you know, y'all went on a couple dates or y'all, you know, had a friends with benefits type of situation, you know, no judgment. Um, so getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deep deepens. Right. So, um, yeah, it's saying when they come back, take the time out to get to know each other. It's up to you. OK, it's, it's not my choice for you to, you know, do what you're going to do. You're going to do what you want to do. But if this person was like super extra. You know, it's it's up to you if you want to deal with them or not. Keep an open mind. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe this person wasn't your usually usual type as well. So that might have played a role in, in the conflict. You guys might have two different ways of thinking. Okay? One of you might be, like, really, really um, practical and... and um, based in in the physical world and then one of you might be extremely spiritual right so sometimes when you have a situation like that it can it can cause a gap in understanding 
right? So that goes into getting to know each other. Getting, getting to know each other is like love language and how you guys communicate, right? You have chemistry here. Mm-hmm. And there's a strong magnetic attraction here. I feel like with all this coming up, I think there is a, a really, really, really strong um, connection with you, with you two. That's why they're showing up in your energy. Even though this is a singer, singles read, they're showing up in your energy still, even though you're single. Okay? So there's there was some chemistry with this person. And codependency. Hmm. So, I'm wondering if addictions are affecting your romantic life. Now, with the codependency card for me, a lot of times people say this is a bad thing, but sometimes this isn't bad, right? It really depends on the context. And with this reading, I feel like um, you guys are a little bit codependent on each other. Like, y'all are codependent on each other's energy. I don't always consider this a bad card, you know. Sometimes codependency is healthy, Right? That's, that's the whole point of being in a relationship and being in love is to depend on the other person, right? <laughs> so I don't feel like this is anything bad. I feel like this is just you guys in, your, in each other's energy. Y'all still thinking about each other. They're thinking, thinking about you, obviously, because they're coming up here. And then unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel like this is how you felt before. I feel like this is what caused the problem. I think you guys probably fell out because someone wasn't expressing how they felt here and then you felt like okay i don't want to deal with this anymore it's time to go okay well gemini's i appreciate you watching i want to keep this reading under 15 minutes because my videos are super 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 long uh, but i thank you for watching and if this resonates with you please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and until next time peace out